In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use implicit differentiation for finding equation of tangent line to a curve. Find the equation of tangent line to the curve at the given point. The curve is 2 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 all to the 2 equals 25 times x to the 2 minus y to the 2 and we want to find the equation of tangent line to this curve at this point. For finding equation of tangent line we need a point which we have here and the slope of the tangent line. And if you remember, the slope of the tangent line is derivative of the function or dy over dx, y prime. So we have to find dy over dx or derivative of the function y with respect to x from this relation. As you can see here, we have an implicit relation because x and y are mixed together. For finding y prime, we use implicit differentiation. The first step in implicit differentiation is to take derivative of both side of the both side of the relation with respect to x. For finding derivative of the left side, we use the power rule. Here we have a power. This bracket is raised to this power. And attention, the expression inside the bracket is the inside function and the power 2 is the outside function. So we use the chain rule here. If we bring the power 2 in front, this 2 multiplies by these 2. So we have 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 all to the power of 1. We subtract the power by 1, so the new power is 1. Don't forget to multiply this by derivative of the inside, derivative of this. So we multiply this by derivative of x to the 2 is 2x and derivative of y to the 2 is 2y y prime. Remember, when we have an implicit relation, y is a function of x. And so, when we take derivative of a term involving y, we have to multiply the, its derivative with y prime. Derivative of x to the 2 and derivative of y to the 2 are similar. Derivative of x to the 2 is 2x, derivative of y to the 2 is 2y. But because y is a function, so we have to multiply it by y prime. Now let's see what is derivative of the right side of this equation. The 25 is a coefficient. We keep the 25 and we have to take derivative of this. Derivative of x to the 2 is 2x and derivative of y to the 2 is 2y, y prime. Now here, maybe you are thinking that you have to solve this equation for y prime because we want to find y prime. Attention, this is not a direct implicit differentiation question. Here, the reason that we take derivative is that we want to find the slope of the tangent line only at this particular point. We do not want to find y prime, the general y prime. So, it's not necessary to solve this equation for y prime. So, it's not really necessary to solve this equation for y prime. If you want, definitely you can solve this equation for y prime. But here, we want to find only y prime at this particular point. So, simply you can plug in 3 for x and 1 for y in this relation and then you can find the value of y prime at this particular point and definitely it is easier than finding y prime in general so let's plug in 3 and 1 for x and y then we have 
4 times 3 to the 2 plus 1 to the 2 times y 2 times x 2 times 3 is 6 y is 1 so 2 times y is just 2 times y y prime equals 25 times 2 times x is 2 times 3 is 6 again y is 1 so 2 times y is just 2 minus 2y prime so so far we have this relation calculate this bracket 3 to the 2 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 so we have 40 all of this is 40 if we multiply that 40 to the bracket 40 times 6 is 240 40 times 2 is 80 so we have 80 y prime in the right side if we multiply 25 by 6 25 times 6 is 150 25 times 2 is 50 so we have 50 y prime now if we move the y prime to one side and we move the numbers to the other side from this equation we have 130 y prime 130 y prime equals 150 minus 240 is negative 90 and so y prime or a slope of the tangent line equals negative 90 over 130 or negative 9 over 13. So this is slope of the tangent line to this curve at this point. Now everything is ready for writing equation of tangent line. Let me remind you that equation of tangent line or equation of a line in general can be written in this form the slope is negative 9 over 13 x sub 0 is 3 and y sub 0 is 1 if we plug in these values here we have y minus 1 equals negative 9 over 13 times x minus 3 if you want you can simplify this answer but it's not really necessary to do so if you multiply negative 9 over 13 inside the bracket we have negative 9 over 13 x negative 9 times negative 3 is 27 so plus 27 over 13 if we move this negative 1 to the other side, then we have plus 1. 27 over 13 plus 1. If we do a simple common denominator, it equals 40 over 13. So this is the final answer for this question. This is the tangent line. To this given curve at this point before i finish this video let me show you the graph of that implicit relation here you can see the graph of that relation this is its graph and this line is the tangent line to this curve at the point three and one as you can see but before i finish this video let me show you how you can find y prime from this relation maybe some of you are interested to know how you can find y prime from this relation again i recommend you if you want to find only the slope substitute the given point directly here as i did but if you want to know how you can find y prime in general let me show you so we want to find y prime from this relation for finding y prime we have to try to separate the terms involving y prime from the terms without y prime to do so I am going to multiply all of this to this term 
and all of this by this term. And attention, I keep this as one single term. I'm not going to multiply four to this bracket and make it two separate terms. I keep all of this as one single term and I multiply it by 2x and I multiply it by this. And also I am going to multiply 25 by this and 25 by this. Let me show you this. So we have 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2. 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times by 2x. And we have also 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times by 2y y prime. In the right we have 25 times 2x which is 50x and also we have minus 50y y prime. If we move the terms involving y prime to one side and the terms without y prime to the other side then we have this 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times 2y y prime plus 50y y prime equals 50x minus 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times 2x. Now look at here. This term and this term, both of these have y prime. If we factor y prime from these two term then we have y prime times y 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times 2y plus 50y equals 50x minus 4 times x2 plus y2 times 2x and finally y prime or dy over dx is this over that so y prime equals 50x minus 4 times x2 plus y2 times 2x over 4 times x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times 2y plus 50y and this is the general formula for derivative of this implicit relation. If you want, you can factor a 2 from the terms in numerator and a 2 from the terms in denominator. You can simplify the numerator and denominator by a 2, but the answer doesn't change so much. So let's keep it in this form. I hope you like this video and see you in the next videos.